लास्ट टाइम यू हैड आस्ट मी फॉर गुरुपद एंड यू शुड नो दैट द इसेंस ऑफ गुरु इज श्री गणेश द इनसेंस यू मस्ट बी नोइंग द स्टोरी ऑफ अ वेरी डिवोटेड वाइफ फेथफुल वाइफ ऑफ अ सती a name was anasuya and she was so religious and so dedicated that they say that the wives of all the gods brahma vishnu mahesha got very jealous of her so <coughs> they told their husbands that you must go and test her if she is really a woman with chastity or not so all of them came down as sadhus dressed up like sanyasis and she said she wanted to serve them give them something they said no we want to have food she said all right come and sit down she cooked food for them so they said no we will not have the food unless and until you take out all your clothes we'll only have the food if you take out all your clothes she said is it so she said yes so she made them into little little children three little children and then she became nude because innocent doesn't understand anything about and then this she joined them together their three innocents was joined together and they got their guru pad that's how the adi guru was created so the first thing is that if you want your guru pad you have to be innocent innocent is a very weak term very weak and difficult to really understand what is innocent but what is the nature of innocence that we can understand from shri ganesha's image first of all he is endowed with wisdom and he puts wisdom into us it's a nice thing now in modern times we have discovered genetics and genetics determine our behavior and our races it is he who puts genetics in us he selects and puts it within us our genetics and when he puts wisdom in us then we are wise there is definitely a genetic of wisdom which is lacking as we can see very clearly in many races they have no wisdom they do things without wisdom they do things just for their destruction destroying their society they may call themselves the highest society highest races whatever it is you may brand yourself with anything but you can see from their behavior they are that they have no wisdom at all so he is the one who puts that wisdom in us in some people who are not yet evolved certain races are not yet evolved to that extent this wisdom is like apart from that this wisdom gives us the sense of freedom so we keep aloof from all kinds of intoxicant 
all kinds of bad habits. We don't like to look at nudity. It can never become lifestyle of people who have wisdom, never. We don't indulge into extramarital nonsense. Whatever is absolutely in the center, which is dharmic, we accept. So we can see that the seed of wisdom put into us makes us dharmic people when we grow, automatically. We are automatically dharmic. We don't kill others, we don't aggress others, we don't torture others, we do not occupy anybody else's land or house or take away anything another's property or another's things. This wisdom comes to you through Sri Ganesh. In short, he makes you absolutely ready for self-realization. It is he only, ultimately, who looks after us at the time of our nirvana, at the time of our realization. Because he stops all other activities of excretion when you are ascending into new realm. Uh, you have seen I am sitting here for nine hours, ten hours. Once I sat down for eighteen hours together, didn't go at all, even to bathroom. Because it is he who stops. All these activities, even when Kundalini is rising, it stops. So this wisdom is innate. Just happens that when the Kundalini is rising, he becomes uh, manifesting in us, I mean I should say, he makes us like a child. And that's what Christ has said, that you have to be like children if you have to enter into the kingdom of God. So you become the child. That time you become a child. And with the Kundalini rising, that wisdom then comes into your brain. Because he's sitting on the Kundalini itself, he's the power in the Kundalini. He gives wisdom in the brain. Once you get that wisdom, you drop out all bad habits, all your attachments which are wrong, all adharmic things that you do, everything drops out. He changes, your genetics are changed. The genetics of Sajogis are all of them will be the same, about the same, I would say. And the genetics of other people would be different. Maybe Indians might have closer to it. Because Indians normally are very wise people. They won't, I mean, I would say, if you see the superiority of races from wisdom point of view, Indians are very wise. They won't just do some nonsensical things at all, no question. Even the children I've seen, children from the West, when they go to India, they went for this school, they're doing all kinds of destructive things to themselves. Nobody could understand. Once they jumped into a dirty pot, they got malaria. Then they ran out of the house, uh, of the school and came out and went to the sh roads, went to the shops. So they put a gate. When they put the gate, the newspaper is criticizing us. There's no sense in it, every school has a gate. So these all unwise, stupid things they do because they lack wisdom. A child who has wisdom is extremely cautious, he understands the importance of his life. He respects his parents, he respects everything. Automatically, you don't have to tell them. Automatically they know what is dharma is, you don't have to tell them. That wisdom, this great deity of Ganesha, he took his form as Jesus Christ. And you all accepted him as the Lord, 
which is true also. But because your Ganesh principle was not so much developed in these Western countries, people took to stupid things. This pornography and this kind of uh, interest in nude women shows that there is no wisdom in them, there is no Ganesha in them. Though they follow Christ, it's just a lip service going to the church. I don't know if the church also has any Ganesha in them. They have no Ganesha. The way they lead their life, nobody can say they have any sense of holiness and auspiciousness. <clears throat> as soon as you get wisdom, you understand holiness and auspiciousness. Before that, you just call Holy Father and Holy Father is doing all kinds of things which can create holes in the organization. Who takes money, bribes, creates bombs, uh, have women, I mean everything. How can he be holy? So this wisdom part is so important and that's what we should ask Ganesha to make us like children. Children have basically wisdom, but not all the children. This is the thing is that children in which Sri Ganesha has activated, has put this genetic of wisdom, it is there. This is one of the greatest things we have to think about, is it wise? It is sane. It's not to be logical. Logically, if you believe in something, then you can go wrong because there's no strength from within. But innately, if it becomes that, you won't do it at any cost. Now you know yourself. All the Sajogis are so different. They behave differently, they stand differently, they talk differently, they think differently. They, everything is different. Suddenly has become, they have become like that. And you can't understand how is it we have become like this? They were drinking, they were smoking, drug taking, everything they did. But how is it suddenly you changed? Because Sri Ganesha has put this wisdom in you.